Scientists at Academia Sinica have hailed a breakthrough in a potential quick screening test for COVID-19. It could mean test times are cut from four hours to 15 minutes and make screening available in local clinics. However, with months of development and clinical trials still to go, it's not certain the product will be on the market before the end of 2020. Taking the limelight for the first time, this is the team that's developed a key reagent for a pioneering COVID-19 rapid screening test. I know just how much energy they've spent on this project. You can check the overtime records. They've been working day and night and through their lunch breaks. The lab was a hive of activity for 19 days. They were using a patented platform for synthetic antibody libraries. It allowed them to investigate multiple antibodies quickly and inexpensively. The pregnancy tests you can buy look like this white tab. So these are actually our lab versions. We hope to produce a version like this eventually. On this test trip, the novel coronavirus comes up positive while SARS and MERS correctly test negative. The finding has attracted global attention. China has jumped to claim the achievement as its own. That's completely false. It obviously has no connection with China at all. It has been developed entirely by Taiwan. Current tests for COVID-19 are based on nucleic acid. They require special equipment and take four hours to come out. This new fast test takes just 15 minutes and can be completed in a basic health clinic. Together, Jenny Reach Biotech, Taiwan Advanced Nanotech and Taijin Bioscience have produced this multiple strain quick screening test. This product is expected to be complete within three months. The health ministry will then commission and mass produce the product according to requirements. The economics ministry is determined to have mass production in place within six months, but experts are cautious about predicting when it will be in use. All reagents that have been developed need to be verified. For example, if 100 patients are infected, we need to use this quick screening reagent to test them and find out how many people the chemical formula can really detect and how many people slipped through the cracks and weren't detected. That would be a false negative. Academia Sinica probably hasn't verified the reagent and ultimately how many false negatives it produces or whether there are false positives. All this needs to be clarified further. As for whether it can be used on the outbreak this year, I believe that even if it cannot, we still need to prepare for future outbreaks. After being produced, the test will still have to undergo clinical trials and will not be available on the market for some time. For Academia Sinica, developing the reagent is just the first milestone of a long journey.